Hey, what's up guys? It's Corey here with Dapper Dollars, and today we're gonna go over an example of how to use Ahrefs to do keyword research, create a design, and rank that design on Google so you can drive traffic to your Redbubble shirts. You ready? Let's get started. So, this channel is all about using print-on-demand platforms like Merch, Redbubble, Etsy, everything like that to create products that can be sold online and create income for yourself so that you can invest this income in things like stocks, real estate and things like that. If that's something that interests you, like and subscribe and let's get started. So what is Ahrefs? Ahrefs is a video that I've done in the past. I'll link to that video here. And it is a keyword research tool that takes um, analytics and stuff from Google and puts that information into a format that you can actually look at and search keywords yourself to see how many people are searching this keyword, how difficult that keyword is to rank for, and phrases that might be attached to that keyword that you can also look for. So this makes Ahrefs a great keyword research tool for Google because like we've talked about in the past, Google is one of those main traffic drivers for Redbubble because Redbubble doesn't have a whole lot of traffic uh, generation on its own. That's why it uses Google ads, Facebook ads, and social media and stuff like that to actually get people to the store. So a tool like Ahrefs using this keyword research is an amazing option. And if you know anything about me, you know that I always start with keywords first because it doesn't make sense to create a design that you don't actually know if people are searching for. So using a tool like Ahrefs is a great way to see what people are searching for so you actually know that when you're designing something, it's going to rank, it doesn't have much competition, and there are people actually looking for it. So let's go over the example that I did to actually get a shirt to rank on Google. And at the end of the video, I'll show you that shirt. And, well, not the shirt, but the design. You know, obviously Redbubble puts it on stickers, hats, things like that. And uh, actually, no, I don't think they put it on hats. That'd be a great idea, because I saw it show, or I saw, saw a search or two where people wanted it on hats. But anyway, let's get into this, and I'll have screenshots that show what I saw as I went, and it'll give you an idea of what to look for as you're doing this process. Now. Starting off, this works best in larger niches, things like autism awareness, things like breast cancer awareness, stuff that is a passion and a pain point for a lot of people that people are looking for, things like veganism and stuff like that. It gives you, it's stuff that people are going to be searching for a lot. It's not something that's like an ice fishing in February shirt. Ice fishing has done really well for me and, um, you know, during this Christmas season, but ice fishing is not something that's big enough that people are searching for enough that would warrant actually going after stuff on Ahrefs. Anyway, so whenever you're doing this and whenever you're starting this keyword research process, make sure you're going into niches that are big. And I mean big. Think big because you're going to have to niche down and just make sure <laughs> that you're not niching down from 200 searches a month down to two searches a month, if that makes sense. So go big. Think of big niches that can actually be designed for and that people are searching for. So anyway, you're going to start with a larger niche and then you're going to put this key, the seed keyword into the search bar at the top of Ahrefs in the Keyword Explorer section. Now this is going to bring up a ton of results if you're in a large niche and a lot of these results are you know you're going to see maybe this was searched for 39,000 times this was searched for you know 20,000 times in the beginning and you're also going to see a number in with a background of a different color next to it with the KD and this means keyword difficulty all you need to know is that you're looking for a keyword difficulty between 0 and 10 there's a lot of stuff that goes on behind what actually goes into a keyword difficulty and why it's actually there, but that has more to do with building websites, link building, and things like that that aren't relevant to this. So right now, just know that anything between 0 and 10 is the keyword difficulty that you're looking for. Search volume, as long as it has search volume, that's a great thing to see. So. Whenever you put your uh, keyword in there, for me, I just put autism in there. There's also a section at the top around that keyword difficulty section that has include. Whenever you go to this, you want to put in things like any of the products that are going to show up on Redbubble. So shirts, hoodies, sweaters, you know, canvases, things like that. 
and have those and include and not um there's a section called also i believe or rank also all of uh the include terms and make sure that is checked otherwise it's just going to search for one of them so anyway what this is going to do is it's going to use your seed keyword autism and it's also going to see that you search for includes shirts hoodies sweaters things like that and you're only going to see keywords that are autism autism searches with the word shirt or whatever in there. So you're going to see things like autism awareness shirt, autism superhero shirt, autism shirt for mom, and things like this. This is all going to be helpful and something we're going to come back to in a little bit, but for right now, just look through this list and see if you can find a saying in there because you'll see things, if you're in a, looking at a niche, you're gonna see things that are sayings that are popular in that niche and then shirts. So whenever I was doing this and you'll see it on the screen, I found shine a light on autism shirt. And there was a good amount of people searching for it. Keyword difficulty was zero. So bam, that's the thing that I need to target. So I got this together. I saw or looked at it myself. I went to an incognito window within, um, Google and Chrome, and this is important to do because you know, it's a little controversial, but Google does track a lot of what we do. They cater a lot of results to our searches based on our past search history. So when you open an incognito window, you're basically going with no, no tracking cookies that you have on your computer, no previous search history. Google, like this is what Google would show someone who had never searched on Google before. So this is the most accurate way to find out what's actually going to show up in Google whenever you're doing research. So I put in shine a light on autism shirt in the incognito window of Google. The results came up. There were one or two results from Redbubble. So I knew that this was going to be a good way to go because if there is something from Redbubble that's showing up, that means that there is something better that can be showing up if that makes any sense. It's a proven point that it can rank in Google. So now you know that you can do something. If you do something better, target the keywords and tags better, then you'll be able to rank for it as well. So this is a great sign. I got the go ahead and I went and made a compelling design. And you'll see in my uh, last video that I did involving Procreate, I created a shine a light on autism shirt. And that's whenever I created that design. That's whenever I put it up on Redbubble. That was the week of, I guess, what, December 5th through the 10th or 10th or 11th. And uh, anyway, so that's when that design went live on Redbubble. You can go back to that video or I'll put that uh, design up here and you'll be able to see what the design is so you can search it yourself and see that it actually does show up on Google. Spoiler alert, it works and it shows up on Google. So anyway, you've gone to Ahrefs, you found the seed keyword that you need, autism, you did the uh, include searches to find that you only want results that are, or only want to see searches that people are doing that involve shirt, sweater, hoodie, things like that. So you know that people are actually searching for it. You found the keyword difficulty as zero because that means it's going to be easier for you to rank faster on Google. If you see a keyword difficulty above 10, do not go for it just trust me there are ways that you could go for it and that's definitely a more technical approach and i would like to test it in the future but for now just know that it's not something that you want to do look for keyword difficulty zero preferably up to 10 is going to be the limit so anyway you found all these things you found a phrase you designed something great now you're putting it on Redbubble. So what else can you do to use ahrefs for because you're potentially paying a hundred dollars a month for this thing you want to get as much out of it as you can first of all whenever you're creating this product in redbubble make sure that the design title is the exact keyword phrase that you got from ahrefs that people are searching on google it does not need to be any different in the beginning because google does work on exact phrase match terms so if you if someone searches for shine a light on autism shirt and you put shirt with phrase like shine a light on autism you're not going to show up and the reason that we're looking the reason that we found this keyword is because it has volume people are looking for it and has low difficulty so make sure that you are putting the exact 
word, the exact phrasing, the exact spelling, and your title at the very beginning because that is how Google is likely going to rank your design. So make sure that that is first and foremost in your title. As far as tags, go back to your search results on Ahrefs where you have the uh, search results for autism shirt and stuff like that and put in those searches that may not be directly that are related to your design tangentially. So what that means is if you see that there are 700 searches a month for autism mom shirt, bam, there's a tag, autism dad shirt, there's a tag, autism shirt, autism awareness shirt, autism shirt for the summer, things like that. If, make sure whenever you go to the, whenever you find those search results within Ahrefs, you're not just getting the title and then using that alone. Go back there and see what these people are actually looking for up that would be related to your shirt if you know it's something like mom dad brother sister things like that because those people are looking for more generic stuff and you have the ability to show up for more than just shine a light like on on autism in google so go get those tags use those tags and put them in your or put them in the uh, tags of uh, redbubble and the description because this is going to be a hack to rank for more than just shine a light on autism because the last thing you want to do is limit yourself to just ranking for one keyword instead of showing up for as many keywords as possible so you've done it you have found the keyword you've done the design you've made a very well targeted uh listing on redbubble and now you just have to wait the truth with Google is that sometimes designs rank like that in a week, like mine did, or sometimes they can take up to six months. There is also one thing that you need to keep in mind if you're doing this, uh, you know, targeting for Google is that you need to not do as many designs of the same keyword because whenever Google does search results and things like that, there is something called keyword cannibalization that happens within Google if there are more than if you're doing more than one design of the same thing. So if you have two designs for shine a, light, shine a Light on Autism, but they both have the same titles or very similar titles, it is very likely that what happens is cannibalization. So they eat each other and basically neither of them work. So whenever you're doing this process, you need to make sure that you are at least putting your best foot forward right away and waiting a while or taking one down to put the other up. Now, I know this is a little difficult because on Merch by Amazon, you can just throw whatever you want up. You can put like the same title, the same tag, not tags, but you know, use the same keywords and potentially rank the same shirt or like 20 different shirts for the same keyword. This is a little different with Google because Google, whenever they're ranking stuff, they want to get the most targeted product possible in front of a customer and that doesn't mean, and they only have a few spaces to do it. So if they have two that are competing for the same thing, usually they'll just cancel each other out. So create one amazing thing and likely it'll work. And you can search shine a light on autism shirt in Google and you will likely find my design. You can search shine a light on autism in the shopping section of Google. And I think that my design shows up in a few different ways. I saw, saw it show up as a sticker and as a shirt. So this process works and it can work for you in most niches that you go into that are super massive. So keep all of this in mind. And one more thing, whenever we're looking at the age reps, this is just a PS, so postscript. Whenever you're looking at the results in age reps and you see 200 a month or 200 searches on age reps as far as the search volume, know that this is per month and sometimes it's a little exaggerated. So make sure you're looking for something that has a decent amount of search volume. And I mean, sometimes Ahrefs doesn't really get all of the information. So if it's a very specific phrase, like shine a light on, or um, yeah, shine a light on autism shirt for kids, and there's only like zero to 10 searches a month for that, go ahead and include that in your tags because I found that at least whenever I was doing uh, SEO for actual websites and stuff like that, creating or going after keywords that had zero to 10 key or zero to 10 searches per month meant that there was likely, or that was an offshoot of a larger keyword. So 
anyway, how it works is if you rank for the much smaller keyword and you do well with that, it'll, Google will eventually move you up the chain to what the C word, seed keyword might be. So shine a lot, light on autism shirt for kids. If you rank well for that, you might rank for shine a light on autism shirt. And then you might rank for shine shirt. And then you might rank for autism shirt on Google if you do really well. Anyway, that's the gist of it. That's a little bit more complicated, a little bit more in the weeds, but um, that's, the, that's the process of the autism aware, or the process of how I use Ahrefs to create shirts for Redbubble and designs for Redbubble. Hope this makes sense. I'm going to be doing the another, other processes like this in the vegan space because it is a little different with each one. And so I'm gonna do my best, best to bring you different versions of how I use Ahrefs to do keyword research in the future. And hopefully this will help. And if you choose to use Ahrefs, remember you can just do it in monthly batches because Ahrefs is over $100 a month. And you can just, you know, watch these videos, do a batch research of a hundred or one month, and then you have like maybe 20 keywords or 30 designs that you want to knock out and you can do it that way. Or if you're balling out of control and you can afford to have a hundred dollar bill a month come in from Ahrefs and just use that as a tax write-off, then go ahead and do that. Anyway, that's what I have to say about using Ahrefs to create designs for Redbubble. And if again, if you like uh, stock market investing, real estate investing, and things like that, by using the uh, passive income we create through these online print on demand platforms, like and subscribe. And just remember guys, someone's going to do something amazing every day. Why not you? See ya.